The US stands in solidarity with our UK brothers and sisters in the gig economy. Congratulations, ADCU. Congratulations on this huge victory. We stand in solidarity with you. Gig economy workers score historic digital rights victory against Uber and Ola cabs, and they never gave up. So this was a complete David and Goliath story. I've, I've reported on this before in a massive victory for ADCU and worker for info exchange group of UK drivers and a driver from Portugal, Viva Portugal, uh, supported by them, have won an historic victory in their legal battle for greater transparency of algorithmic management practices used by Uber and Ola cabs. We know, we very well know, that Uber and other gig companies have been screwing over hardworking gig workers with their manipulative algorithm. This time, they fought back. The drivers were seeking to access their personal data from Ola and Uber, as well as the right to transparency to algorithmic management. Well done, my friends. So let's just go through this article quickly. Uh, gig economy workers score a historic digital rights victory against Uber and Ola cabs. If the video cuts off, I'll put the link below. Um, Uber and Ola ordered to provide transparency regarding the use of controversial driver surveillance systems such as Uber's real-time ID and Ola's guardian system. Uber ordered to reveal the data used as the basis of the unfair dismissal of two drivers. Um, Ola has been ordered to reveal driver performance related profiling, including the controversial driver fraud probability score and earnings profile, both of which are used opaquely in automated work allocation decision making. Don't we know that so well how these guys operate? Uber ordered to reveal individual trip ratings about compromising passenger identification. Ola's decision to con to deduct from driver earnings classified as an automated decision which attracts additional rights for drivers to appeal. All gig workers encouraged to register with Worker Info Exchange as part of a group's access request for data. A group of UK drivers and a driver from Portugal, Tajbon, have won a historic victory in their legal battle for greater transparency of algorithmic management practices used by Uber and Ola cabs. The drivers were seeking to access their personal data from Ola and Uber, as well as the right to transparency to algorithmic management. The cases were taken before the Amsterdam District Court, as both Ola and Uber control driver data from the Netherlands. Uh, further cases relating to unfair automated decision-making, as defined by Article 22 of the GDPR, remain before the courts in Amsterdam. Please do share that data with us so we can compare and see what's going on here. Requirement to make transparent allegations of fraud. In a ruling delivered yesterday by the American District Court, Uber has been ordered to reveal data used as the basis for their decision to dismiss two drivers who were accused of fraudulent activity. The app drivers and couriers union and worker info exchange have long argued that such terminations based on unsubstantiated allegations of fraud, in fact, really amounted to performance-related sackings. They say that Uber misclassifies the dismissals to avoid its responsibilities to exercise due process as an employer. Drivers asserting their digital rights, not an abuse of process. The court rejected Uber's arguments that the UK and Portugal-based drivers did not have right a right to bring complaints before the courts in Amsterdam, where its European regional head office is located. The courts also rejected Uber's argument that drivers taking collective action to seek access to their data amounted to an abuse of data protection rights and confirmed the right of third parties, including Worker Info Exchange, the ADCU, and other trade unions to establish a gig workers data trust. Management profiling of drivers must be revealed. In a separate ruling, Ola was ordered to disclose profiling data, which is used to, uh, which is used in turn in automated work allocation decision-making systems. Ola has been ordered to disclose the controversial fraud probability profile it maintains in every driver, um, on every driver, and an earnings profile similarly maintained. 
platform companies have been very secretive about the existence of such profiling. So in order to disclose profiling that have significant influence on the quality and quantity of work offered represents a major breakthrough for workers. Yes, automated decision uh, to make deductions from driver earnings had no human involvement. In the case of one Ola driver, the court decided that a decision to make deductions from a driver's earnings amounted to an automated decision lacking human intervention. Such algorithmic decisions attract important legal protections according to Article 22 of the GDPR. Customer ratings of trips. Until now, Uber has only provided drivers with an aggregate rating based on the last 500 trips conducted. Uh, the court has now ordered that Uber must provide a detailed breakdown of ratings for every trip, but passenger personal data must be predicted in doing so. Surveillance systems must be exposed. The court ordered that Ola cabs must disclose how driver personal data is processed through the firm's so-called guardian surveillance system. The system utilizes machine learning and artificial intelligence to monitor trips to identify what Ola describes as irregular trip activity. Uber operates similar such surveillance systems, including the hybrid real-time ID system. Bolt recently completed a 180 million funding round to fund its investment in such surveillance systems. The ruling will bring much needed transparency about the nature of such systems and how they are used against a vulnerable workforce. Potential grounds for appeal, worker info exchange and the ADCU are concerned with some aspects of the judgments which believe uh, which we believe unduly restrict the rights of drivers. The court agreed that Uber may blur data relating to trip start and endpoints in the interest of protecting passenger identification. Worker Info Exchange in concern, is concerned this may interfere with the right of workers to access employment rights to the extent that they are frustrated in the ability to validate the fair basis and compare earnings and operating costs. We also feel the court has unduly put the burden of proof on workers to show they have been subjected, subject to automated decision-making before they can demand transparency of such decision-making. Similarly, the court has required drivers to provide greater specificity on the personal data sort rather than placing the burden on firms like Uber and Ola to clarify uh, clearly explain what personal data is held and how it is uh, processed. Damn, that was a tongue twister. Sorry about that. Gig workers requested to register to request their data. Gig workers are now encouraged to register with Worker Info Exchange to request their data from any gig economy employer. The workers will receive their data directly and can later choose whether to participate in a Worker Info Exchange data trust which aims to increase transparency and bargaining power for workers. Workers, You can register right there if you want to. James Farrar, director of Worker Info Exchange, said this judgment is a giant leap forward in the struggle for workers to hold platform employers like Uber and Ola Cabs accountable for opaque and unfair automated management practices. They should th throw Lyft into the mix, but obviously Lyft doesn't drive overseas there. Uber and Ola Cabs have been ordered to make transparent the basis for unfair dismissals, what we call wrongful terminations, wrongful deactivations, wage deductions, and the use of surveillance systems such as Ola's Guardian system and Uber's real-time ID system. The court completely rejected Uber and Ola's arguments against the right of workers to collectively organize their data and establish a data trust with worker info exchange as an abuse of data access rights. Yasin Aslam, my brother, I appreciate you emailing me yesterday and sharing this with me and that's why I'm putting it out there. We stand in complete solidarity with you and he is the president of ADCU. This ruling is a massive victory for our members who have been subject to unfair treatment by Uber and Ola using oppressive electronic surveillance systems. Workers are proving again to be resilient and creative in the mission to build collective power and reduce the a symmetry of power between themselves and global platforms like Uber and Ola. Extremely well said. Anton Ecker, Ecker Law, a privacy lawyer representing the driver, said for the first time the courts have found that platform rideshare drivers 
And congratulations, Anton Ecker, on representing these drivers and winning. Um, have been indeed been subject to automated decision as defined by Article 22 of the GDPR. This confirms additional rights that drivers can now access to challenge unfair automated decision, such as those relating to pay, performance, and dismissals, deactivations. This is what we need in the United States. We needed exactly the same type of ruling in the U.S. So we can start fighting these wrongful deactivations, wrongful dismissals. Drivers have the right to demand human intervention, the right to express their point of view, and to appeal such decisions. Um, contact James Farrar. Uh, there's his number, 447530319206. You can get through. Background rulings can be found at links below. In Dutch, in Hollands, in the Hollands at Taal. Um, WorkerInfoExchange.org and https.eka.legal. I'm going to leave those links below, the entire link, so you can read up on and uh, up on it again. And congra congratulations, sorry, man, I haven't had my coffee yet. Yasin Aslam, I appreciate you, my brother. Standing, thank you for standing up for all the brothers and sisters in the UK. And again, we stand in solidarity with you. Much love. Thank you.